What's up, y'all? It's Mary. And Alma. We invite you guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Because today we are going to be re reviewing The Bachelorette. Yes. Um, I am shocked that it is a two-part finale. Yeah. Like, how long are we going to drag this out, Jesse? Honestly. I don't know. I just think one is, honestly, to me, I feel like it's just too much. They're really dragging it out. It's yeah. And then it's not even much. Oh, like, by the time we got to the end of it, it was like... Oh, wait, can we just get to the finale already or whatever? But apparently, so this is what happened Monday. Because we watch it on Hulu, so it comes on, like, the day she after. Said, right, right. So apparently they're going to have the second part tonight. Right. So we'll probably have to come back maybe well, later on. Well, I think they on. already had the they second part. They had it last, yeah, night. last night. So she'd come out to ours maybe by noon. Yes. So what's the time now? Our time in this. It's eleven twenty nine. Okay, so you should so come on like in thirty minutes and we'll watch it when we're finished this one. Yes, we'll go ahead, upload everything, and then we'll go ahead and watch Crazy. it. But yes, you guys, we're gonna start off with Zach, the drama queen, the one who craves the limelight, the one who Yes is not mentally sound. No. As far as I'm concerned. Immature. I thought that he was a nice guy. Immature. I thought that he'll be great for Rachel because she had two A holes there. And I thought Zach was the one who had the most sense. But, you know, we always say... Less of an a -hole. Yes. But we always say on this, on our show, yeah. that the nice guys are usually the worst ones. Because yeah. you don't see them yes. coming from and, a mile away. And remember from the beginning, we did not see the chemistry. Yeah, I thought that it was very dry. Date. We thought it was fake. We thought it was dry. Yeah. And then we thought that he liked the limelight because when they were having... He like, was the cameras soaking them, it up. He was really soaking it up. And I was like... Mm. He looks like someone who likes the limelight. Facts. So I'm not sure. I'm not surprised that, and I don't think we're surprised that he did all his drama fest. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I think everyone was waiting for it to be, like, even Jesse said it looked like she had done something nefarious or something. Like we were wondering what exactly happened. But nothing Still. happened. She just was questioning you so, about your age and if you'll be ready because I don't think Rachel likes younger men. No. Which makes sense because, you know... Men usually don't mature They as don't. As so women. it would be a little bit of precaution yes. for a woman who's older to yes. date somebody who's younger. Mm -hmm. Men are very quick to date younger women, mm -hmm. but older women are not that quick to. Mm -hmm. So it was nothing wrong with her asking you that. No. But he decides to take her outside this big old drama yes. fest or whatever well, and says that, oh, yeah. You know, it seems like I was getting the bachelorette, Rachel. Like, you weren't being real. You weren't you know being what honest. Is, what that is. I guess he was trying to say that she was trying to be in her bachelorette phase where she was being fake or whatever. He was trying to remind her of her season with Clayton. I guess so. That's what it was. It was yeah. a, a remembrance thing, like how Tino did. Yeah, but I just felt like one that, like, if she's asking you about it and it's like seeming like the energy's off, it's not because, um... She's being fake. And you should reassure she just, her. That's yeah. what you were supposed to do. Yeah, but she said that you saw her, you, oh, I did love you, all this shit. Like, if you really did love her, l listen, if a man gives up on you super quickly, he didn't see a future with you. He no. doesn't. Because people who really love you, they see it through. And how do you out of love so quickly he says, I loved you? Honestly, me personally, with this whole bachelorette, At bachelor day, thing. two days, he loved you. Because you asked him about his age, and so he loved you now. I saw, not I see a future, I, I saw a future. Two days, and then you had, you have switched like that? My Bro. my analysis is that I believe he knew from what happened in the fantasy suite, mm -hmm. she's going to dump his ass. Yeah. So he has decided that I'm going to dump you before you dump me. Yeah. Because right, like literally, if you guys watch it back, whatever, he waited until she almost picked up the rose. To call him. Because yes. he could have said as soon as she walked in, can I talk to you real quick or whatever. Yeah. But he didn't. He no. waited till that moment to be a little drama queen. Yes. And then he decided to call, take her out there and be like, oh, I did love you or whatever. But even from the the language Rachel was using, I already knew she was going to send him home or whatever. She said, mm. you know, I was hoping we would get there or whatever and see it through. Yeah. But I'm sorry we couldn't get there or whatever. And he didn't give her a chance to talk. He was trying to talk over, over her like, like yes. he was the one dumping her or whatever. Yes. And he was, she was going to dump your ass anyway, yeah. Zach. Like, please go somewhere. I have to go. Like, he didn't give her a chance to even respond to what he said. I have to go. And then he was gone. Like, he wanted to have the last word. So he just showed his lack of maturity. Nice right guys there. usually are a-holes. And if they sit here and they tell you they're a nice guy, run boom. <laughs> run mm -hmm. sis. For the highest hill you can find. Yes. Okay? Yes. Like, Absolutely. I just felt like it was pathetic. And then when they decided to come out or whatever and have him 
talk about what was going on or whatever. He was still fake, but then also Very Rachel good. kept on apologizing Which even more than him. She's with Tina. He has Please he let has, the people know why. He has broken her down enough to get her so apologetic yeah. to be reassuring her, her him every two seconds. So she just slipped right into the role that, that Tino has made sure she's in. I wouldn't be surprised if she's with Tino. Listen, y'all, please the do not ruin it was, for us. I know y'all have probably already watched us. Please don't ruin it. <laughs> don't ruin let us it. know. In fact, we should not read any comments for this one. Yeah. Until you watch the second <laughs> one. Because you know they're going to let us know. I know. But I will not be surprised if she's with Tino. Because right now, that girl apologizing for Way everything too much. that he has been seen. The whole Avon thing. Oh, if she's with Tino, if she did not have enough sense to break up with him, and she allowed him to be the last guy, girl, Red let flag. me tell you, 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 you let him engage you, he's going to turn, I, I believe he will do the same thing Danny B. Did to Nicole and the courtship. Did to Nicole, yes, in that show, The Courtship. Yeah. Uh, give her a week. Before asking for the ring back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's going to be Tino. He will yeah. be asked for the ring because they're going to give it back to the, the that guy, the diamond guy. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, apparently I what was happened was, she was I don't. I was so much. I yeah, was. I was very shocked that she was because I felt like you you she, if anything, he should be apologizing. Yeah. And then I was like, why the hell is the audience clapping for this Jackie? I know. Like, I thought it was very odd. So I was like, we have got to break down. Why we think he is really kind of a narcissist a little bit, really if, in my mind yeah. anyway. So very I just felt like it was very odd. And yeah. apparently, what happened the fantasy suites? She before they even, I guess, tried to do anything or whatever, which I don't even think they did anything. No, by the way he was talking, so. he all. said that basically they started talking or whatever, mm -hmm. and then it got really bad and it got super awkward. So by the end of the night, it was like okay, um. This is awkward. It's hard for us to hang out or whatever. Because even the energy was very off during the breakfast. Yeah. So I don't think that anything happened. I think they talked and then right away. Because I don't think Rachel would have even done anything with him until she had no. reassurance. And she was certain about so. him. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I, that's what had happened. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. But I'm happy that um, he left because he did her a favor. Yeah. I don't think there's anybody there for Rachel. So I yeah. do think that she needs to go home by herself. And, and when she came back after Zach had left. She came back to let them know, to let Avon and Tino know that, you know, Zach is no longer with us. And Tino, there was this moment, he looks at her and then he looks down like... Tino. Not Tino, Avon. And right there in that moment, I said, this man don't want this woman. Because when they come in and say how, you know, like, like someone left... If you're really there for her, you'll be watching her to see, like, and to let her know through your eyes, I'm here for you. Like what Brandon did you. for Michelle when she yes. was trying to see was who she let go. Was that for even though she broke his heart and dumped him, but I haven't seen her with nobody, have you? No. Mm. If I were her, I would skip what, my ass back to Zach, okay? And Michelle, I would have told her to skip he, her he, ass he, back he, to Brandon, but he, Brandon's on The Bachelor in Paradise, which I think is a red flag. I don't even know what the hell he's doing there. I don't know what he's doing there. But we don't talk about that because we will be um, reviewing oh, it to be, Mika. Are we, are we yes. watching Bachelor in Paradise? Well, she did not want to watch it, so it, I am basically dragging her along so the road. Much. Ugh, I just she did not like the spitting. She did not like the food in the mouth and all that stuff. Mother's like well, all that gross stuff. That I think <laughs> I just never took Bachelor in Paradise seriously. I think I always feel as though they're just there to have a little hot summer, hot summer fling. Yeah, that's that's really that's the vibe. But it, it reminds me of summer school in college yeah. when you stay for summer school in college. Yeah. And, you know, it's just party, hanging out, mm -hmm. having sex, and drinking, to and doing it again the, the only next reason day. Why so that's he... why I'm looking at it, I'm just like, uh, oh, Brandon, what are you doing? Have you just decided now to just, I don't know, hoe it up? Hey, look at me. Get my groove on. Listen. You know, maybe a lot of ladies gave me his DM, but he said, what? 
You mean they like me like this? What? Let me go enjoy myself. Listen, Tanika Bryan, she has been one of our, she, I think she was Ooh, the first Tanika? loyal, yes, and she was oh, the first loyal okay, subscriber that we had, Tanika. like, she when we had, first. like, she five subscribers, she was yeah. like, oh my god, I love your content, no, she, she was commenting. actually the first person who ever saw our show. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and she, she was, was a and, subscriber. She, and she has been loyal ever since, so we she see you, has. and we are definitely going to be doing okay. it for you, girl. All right, so that um, was her. Okay, so yes. Tanika, yes, all right, we will do that. Yes, so, yeah, she has but, um... Yes, I think, was it? They, okay. Yeah, yeah so but the, he knew. I think Zach actually knew. Because I, my thing is also, he was like so confident that he was going to get a rose. Yeah. And I was like, that is a red flag. Why are you so confident? Yeah. But from the way he was talking, when they were talking or whatever, he, probably knew he that said, was gonna dump him. he said, you know, I knew that, you know, you probably, I could tell in your eyes by the time that it was all over the fancy suit that you probably knew that um, this wasn't going to work out. So you knew. So yeah. you're there lying so that you're going to yeah. get a rose. Yeah. But you know she's going to dump you. That's why you went and you dumped yeah. her back first. Because yeah. you're like, I would not be embarrassed on this TV show. I am Zach. You aren't even no that cute. No woman is to dump me. You're not even cute, Zach. Please suggest. I will not be surprised if he is not the bachelor. Oh, Lord. They probably will make Zach the bachelor. That's why he was doing his little pretend Well, guess crying. what? My ass will not he be was, watching it. I'm was, sorry. Zach was crying like um, Robin on Sister Wife. <laughs> here but 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 instead of you know, instead of doing this this i guess this is what the women do he goes he goes this is what he does he goes like this no tear yeah his face doesn't even get red yeah you know what i'm saying you know he's not upset just bs Yes, y'all. But apparently, Rachel introduces Ava to the family. And my thing is, Before Rachel... Before she did. She was there talking and praising this man like she was getting some Barack Obama or something. <laughs> like, she was so happy. Like, she's, she's like, like, she's like, if you don't choose him, like, you are stupid. stupid. And On I was, paper? He On is paper? everything. He, he is, is everything. everything. And He's I'm just everything. like... like I am so sure of him, and every time I have a bad day, I'm looking for Tina. No, not Tina. I'm, I'm looking for Avid. I Aven. keep on messing them up. I'm looking for Avid. I'm looking for Avid. And I was like, do not look for Avid. When you were at your, at your worst so after unsure. that, that Avid put his eyes out. And this man has told you nothing. If you go and listen to him, it's nothing but some word salad. He ain't saying anything substantial. He ain't giving you any answers. But well, let me tell you I something. really like you. I am falling in love with you. She's so beautiful. We have the same values. Okay, what are they? It doesn't bother to end. Like, okay, so this was my thing with the whole Avon thing, right? Um, so basically, love. what I think is Rachel went in there super happy, super excited. I think that she's trying to. It sounds like she was trying to convince herself and oh, trying to convince so her handsome. family. But then he's it was so like handsome. she just wasn't really being i don't know i just didn't think she was being authentic whatever like she she's at this point where all the men that she thought would be good for her kind of have left you know what i'm saying and she has also chosen wrong men yeah. like i felt so bad for the family because it's so hard when you see your child yes hype somebody like, up so like much. hype somebody up some or Says whatever she, she loves but it. also i'm sure the mom and the dad can see how there's some uncertainty as yeah. well and it's sad because she's brought home two assholes yeah. and it worries you it worries you as a parent that this is who she has chosen she's gone through this whole process yeah. she's dated 20 plus men or whatever mm -hmm. just for her to come to this point and she has some idiot who's mm -hmm. there telling the friends oh I don't think I'm going to get to an engagement yeah. but Rachel was so so heartbroken or whatever she was talking about like I thought you were ready like I went in there saying that you were 100% ready and then you go and you tell my friends that in my family you're not ready for engagements like I don't understand but my, yeah, but my man thing was very is, cunning he said no but this is I'm why I'm ready think, in my life to be engaged but he he I gave just, her some BS. What he did was he he twisted the words. Basically, what he did was yes. I mean, you know what I think though. I actually I do think I think he sat down there. They had a conversation before anything happened, mm -hmm. and he really hyped her up. He's like, yes. I'm ready for engagement. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for that or yes. whatever. Yes. And then when they had sex, which you think they did? Absolutely, 
she yeah. said he is the full package. Ah. And she even said that they had a full and complete fantasy suite this episode. So I feel like that's what he did. And then you come in front of my family oh, and say and that all of a sudden you're sex. not ready. So after the sex, he's like... He got what he wanted, so I don't have to sit here and lie to you no more. Yeah. But what I will do, but what I will do is I won't tell you the truth. I'll just go and tell your family the truth, yes. so you can be but extra I, but embarrassed. But I'm going to tell your daddy though, because he might be, be my ass. I'm going to tell your friends. Yes. So that's what I'm. That's what I genuinely think happened. And I felt like even like Rachel, this whole time we were like, you need to seek therapy. Like you really, Aven? I don't like Avon. Like the one, like he's always like this woman's thing. You know, I'm just like so ready. Like I really he love is her. Not like cute. I like he always has this tick with his neck. Like I'm sorry, but like I'm sorry. I thought <laughs> I thought Ava was gay. I'm straight up. Like we I thought did. he was gay. I actually thought you know, he was gay. And that, I just that, didn't that, think that, he was that into her. That stuff. Like I just thought he was gay. Yeah. I looked at Ava. And first of all, he eyebrows better than mine. <laughs> and girl, he better than mine. <laughs> I I'm barely gonna, get I my mean, eyebrows did. Hey, you know. I just thought he was gay. Yeah. And my gaydar is never off. She's never wrong. It's never off. Like, I mean, Eric, I thought if he was gay, he became bi bisexual mm -hmm. with, with Gabby. Yeah. You guys, please get in the comments. Those of you who have very good gaydar, let us know. Or if someone knows Avon, <laughs> please let us know if if he's gay oh, because listen, that's that's listen, what i if you don't want then. to out him on our no, comment section him. no oh, please no. You, you, you can send know, us an email look at our know, about page if you know out him on this channel <laughs> and we will sing to, you know what i cannot stand mm -hmm. i cannot stand people who go on shows and 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 deceive people mm -hmm. and you are not even straight you know goodness well rachel does not She's not gay herself. So she doesn't want someone who's gay. She has I, never said so. No. We already know what our, her type is, right? So I just think it will be just the highest level of deception to come here and you not even straight. Yeah. It, it, it's, just, it's just a lie. Avon, please, so if you guys know that, please, out here. No, don't keep that secret. Because he should not have the secret. You know what I'm saying? Wasting people's time. Yeah. And wasting her time. I just think that would just, that would just be another level of evil. That's how I feel. Just another yeah. le level of cruelty. Because you know why? It's just like the catfishing situation. Yeah. You let people, someone think that you're something. Right. And then you're not. Like Mary and Sister Wives. Yeah. You let her think that you're a man. But come to find out you're a woman. That was embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? So but yeah, yeah that but would not he be basically right. he flipped out on um, yeah. Rachel and he was I never yelling all that this Avin stuff. I was ever here to get engaged. I don't know where she saw you. This might just came is, I don't to know come. who the hell these people on the show got for these women because almost every single man on that show was not ready for engagement. The only person I thought was maybe Nate, but he has a daughter. And yeah. she has mother issues, so I don't know what the hell you were doing there, Nate. Oh, I'm sorry. Gabby, Gabby has. Mother but issues. yes, yeah. he basically flipped out on Rachel. He was he was there yelling, hooping, and hollering, saying, "You know, my feelings have been changed." I know. Just, Rachel I'm just not to be like, "Why are you are yelling, yelling? At me?" I think she saw another side. I said, "Wait a minute." Yeah. But you know, one thing I can say, like I was telling you, mm -hmm. if these girls didn't get anything from this, I feel as though they became stronger. For sure. They became aware of what their boundaries are. And they became strong enough to express it yeah. and to get rid of people. Because I think in the beginning, uh, especially Rachel had a hard time with that. But through this process, they have gotten rid of men who have kind of, you know, like violated their boundaries and stuff. Yeah. And I think it has made them stronger. Because I think as women, even with myself when I was growing up, it was very hard for me to say no to a man. Like, it, it was just hard. Like, you know, because when you're young as a woman... You're, you're in that pleasing thing. Yeah, for sure. Wanting to please other people. And you don't really know yourself, so and it's you hard for you to set yourself. these boundaries. or see, Like, you, you don't even know what your boundaries are. Exactly. Like, you don't know. You know like, you so, have a discomfort when yeah. you're in a situation like that. Yeah, so I'm really but, happy that you know, if this show didn't do anything for them, it, it really helped them get stronger, know what their boundaries are, know how to articulate it, and also know how to check men. Yeah, you know what I'm saying because they've done so during the show. So even if they don't come out away from this with um, an engagement, at 
least they came out with that. That's how yeah. I feel. You know? Yeah, so I am very happy that yeah. um and then she but was she kissing also, his hand as as she let him go and was like, you know, I promise yes, I'm good. I'm good. You know? And then I don't you know what I do understand? Why she even went for that second date? That last date. She was really wanted to see if he would actually change his mind and yeah. go on um engage her. But he was still saying the same job turkey. He didn't say nothing same different. He didn't say job no- turkey. He, he didn't say was. nothing different or whatever. Oh and she ended up having to dump his ass. Yeah. As he's there rubbing his eyes and rubbing his forehead, no tears doesn't no comfort tears. her. She's wailing. Nothing. She's sobbing. She was her. so heartbroken. She really was. And she was very shocked. I, I'm shocked she was feeling like that with Avon. Like, Avon uh, one is not I even cute. Two. Like, no. three, he is confused. That's you can all. tell by his family dynamic, he has had confusion all through his yeah. life so Ma'am. i just felt that uh, i'm sorry like what did you even expect rachel like i just even seemed jaded about the whole i guess we'll go their divorce but they all that's also another they were they all they weren't really friendly to her either no even the they, daddy they was kept off. it they kept it surface that's what i thought very surface he himself is very surface they, they, and superficial. Yeah, no deep conversation. So I didn't no understand. Deep conversation. But like this man is not telling you anything. I am ready to be engaged. Listen, not in two weeks though, or a week. Listen, but in my lifetime. The my I think thing that's what is, he's saying. my thing is, I just feel like I much rather get with somebody mm-hmm. who I'm not feeling all the way there. But goes out of his way every single day to yeah. let me know that I'm the one for him, yeah. that this is something serious, and that yeah. he is ready for an engagement. Yeah. She pushed all those men to the side yeah. for two assholes. But I'm thinking, um, like Larry, that guy she dumped who, um, who, who at his home good? at his hometown. Like, yes, you Which might have one? felt like... Oh, Tyler. I felt like yeah. she should have at least kept him. Yeah. Tyler you know what I'm saying? Nice. See it through or whatever. Tyler actually I thought she gave, really, gave a damn about you. He really did. I thought Jordan V would have been phenomenal. Yeah. He was fine as shit. And he was tall, honey. He was tall. So like, fine. and then he That's was sweet. a sports yeah. car driver. Yeah. Like, oh my... I remember one time I that went on so a date. Funny. And, like, this guy, he had the sports car. And they were doing, like, donuts, like, okay. in um, a parking yeah. lot. That was, like one of the funnest dates i ever yeah. been on but like yeah. i think that's so cool because it has like a little bit of danger yeah. but like also he's he really was, sweet and caring really, like, sweet so i just was. felt like you know and that's not even she should have he was fine and sweet one <laughs> Was, and like was you really just, eyes. that's for damn sure yeah. i would have kept it rachel eyes. like I, I don't know what you're doing i don't know with like some of these men like yeah. i just felt like she's not healed that's yeah. why she wasn't gonna get anybody good but y'all we're at 23 minutes i'm gonna have trouble uploading this so okay, <laughs> let's move let's, it along yeah let's move along to uh, um, rachel's other person tino but so, yeah she did end up dumping avon and she, i'm glad yes, that she I'm did he was a waste of time over. Yeah, but I'm so happy she said it's over. Gabby went so no, Ra- Rachel. and Rachel actually she went on she introduced Tino. Yeah. Um and she immediately she was not happy. You know when Rachel is very unhappy, she yeah. gonna show the next day and maybe and the week after that, that, that know, his family does not like me or whatever yeah. stuff like that. And so, she was still feeling the remnants from the whole Avon thing. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. immediately the dad was everybody was kind of like on alert or whatever stuff yeah, like they that. Really were. But you know I But kinda, the dad said he liked Tino. I kind of softened towards Tino a little bit uh-huh. just because it just seemed like he was nervous. You know what I'm saying? And it seemed like, you know, he, you ain't got to be making that face. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I just felt like This is maybe, what he does. This is what an abuser does. I don't this know. This push just, and pull. This, today, I'm okay. I've tried being an asshole yesterday like oh my god i have never liked tino from the get-go yeah i i haven't liked him either but i was just, just because i'm really hoping crawl for her i cannot hope no because tino, i'm really hoping the reason why single. i want the reason why i'm hoping is because i really want rachel to have what she wants but i don't think do i think that he is the right person for her no i do not but i just thought it was kind of nice that he said i'm going to spend the rest of my life making your daughter happy so I mean that was nice, but I still think he is an a hole, and I do think that he is going to make her pay once he sees that she was so heartbroken over Avon. 
and that and they had a full fantasy him, suite. They talked about her need to want to travel, right? Like she wants and to have a And apparently he built skyscrapers, so that's interesting. Yeah. But is he a constructor? Maybe I don't know. Maybe an architect, whatever. Anyway, she said he does very well for himself, so obviously he's doing well. But he says to the father that um, he needs to be, be, whatever place he goes to, he has to be there for two years. But I guess that's how long it takes for him to do this build, to whatever building he's building. Yeah. You know, and so the, the father was like, you know, you know, she wants to travel, this and that. How is that going to work for you? Because it seems as though your job, she can be remote, but it seems like your job, you need to stay put somewhere. And he was like, yeah, you know, I, I, I mean, as long as we stay somewhere for two years. Um, but, I, you know, then he just jumps into... I want to make your your daughter happy. I'm gonna I'm going to make your daughter happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust you know from here to that gate over there. Well, that's that's a lot. Of trust, I don't though. I don't trust you know from <laughs> here to this uh where we're recording this. I don't trust Tino about arms length from uh my chest here to my nose here. I don't trust him. There's a little trust. No. I don't trust him this much. This is the distance. I don't. I don't trust him even even that much. I don't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he needs to go home by herself. And, and so he does Gabby. Is not a nice person. This man is not a nice person, and I think that he's clingy. Yeah, he's very clingy. You have to reassure him. Yeah. No. And he mind f's you. So that's also my issue with that's him. That's the thing. That's why I said. After it's kind of like that, and and this is this is really awful. But it's kind of like that guy who goes and slaps you around, right? And then the next morning he tells you that um, he comes and he kisses where you have your your um, your scar, and says, "I'll be home um, tonight, baby. Okay, all right." I'll be home because I know that it's like that guy who slapped you around when you questioned how come he didn't come home last night. So he slaps you around, leaves a big scar. And then the next day, he kisses where he has busted your face open and then says to you, though, he says, um, baby, I'm going to come home tonight, all right? Because I know how much that means to you, all right? And I'm, I'm really taking your feelings into consideration. That guy, that's, what he, that's who Tito reminded me of. That's how that he he is that kind of guy who going to seriously my nephew like, like ep- that sounds like an episode out of Fatal Attraction. No, it um, sounds like an episode of what was that show? Enough. The, yeah, with J Lo. With the J Lo was part of Enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so Gabby and, and, and Eric. Guess what? I have about had enough of Tina. How about that? <laughs> I know. I really went dark with that, right? <laughs> you, your By little the jokes. way. We have never experienced someone do that to us. Because they'll be like, wait a minute. Listen, what's somebody what trying to with Abba me? I'm talking about. His penis will be missing in the Look, middle of the night, okay? Abba, can you tell us about your experience with that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have experience with that. Except for what I see on TV. <laughs> anyway. But yes, yeah, so Eric and Gabby mm. and um, Eric met with Gabby's parents. It went well. Yes. There's really nothing to say he there. He remembered Grandpa Johnny. Yes, and he Grandpa did. Johnny. You know, I think at this point, I'm glad that Gabby, Gabby didn't hype happy. him up. Yeah, she surely I'm glad she didn't. She let him come in and let yeah. them see for themselves. And she was very, she looked very unsure, even when he was sitting right next. And to her. she was crying too much, though. Also, you were like, if you're so happy, then why are you crying so much? Yeah, you I felt like know. he makes her uneasy. That's what I thought. Yeah. The way she was looking was uneasy. Facts. And a guy who makes you feel uneasy. <laughs> Red flag! But yes, um, so anyway, okay. they decided to have another date. Yes. And this fool decides to tell her, I just want to date you. When we get into the real world, I, I just want to date something? you. I don't know. I, I'm still trying to wrap my head. How do you go from, the, from the I'm ready, I'm prepared, I don't want to live without you, to I just want to date you in the real world. But I didn't what understand. The? They were sitting on the couch. I felt as though he was trying to talk to her. And, and she, she just kept on kissing, kissing him. him. I guess she, she I said, knew. Gabby, I guess you, be, I, you know, I think she knew it was about to go south, so she wants to get her kisses in or her yeah. love in. And then she, they decided to go outside because maybe he said she can want. I, I don't know how they moved so quickly. They went outside. And all of a sudden, 
<laughs> I thought this was Gabby's hand. Not knowing Eric was holding himself like this. When a man is literally comforting himself and holding himself like this, it will end badly. <laughs> You stand in front of a man and he has wrapped himself like this as he rubbed his our ear and I, I thought it was Gabby's head, not knowing this was Eric's head. <laughs> I said, this will I told you and she was making a note. I said this will end badly. <laughs> and it sure enough did. She was going down the hall after he had told her he doesn't want to get engaged. And uh he he goes behind it. Gabby pretending. Gabby! But guess what? As he saw how long the hallway was, he said, mm -mm. He turned right back and go back to the room. <laughs> I said, these pretenders. I these don't know how I... Where do these women find these men at? Oh, it's so... the bachelorette. <laughs> it's so rough out here in this dating world, man. You know who I blame? I just... I blame the franchise. Of course! Because I think that they felt like getting their kicks. <laughs> On yeah. with Rachel and Gabby, and so they chose men who were full of it. This is what I feel. A psychologist needs to come and choose the men. Yes. A psychologist, yes. actually. Not, not these bozos of this franchise, because if they were getting their kicks. I bet they were rolling on the floor, holding their tummies, laughing. Anyway, y'all. We see you, Jesse. We see you, Jesse. Jesse tried to keep his job. So he makes sure it is controversial as hell. Yeah. But yes, you guys, it's Mary. And Abba. Be much have to like. Subscribe. Share. And comment. Down below your thoughts about this foolishness. Yes. And how about the... And do you think that Rachel's going to leave by herself? I'm sure you know something. Don't Let tell us, us know. Hey, you guys, don't tell us nothing. No, we're by the time we upload it anyway. Show. No, listen, by the time we upload it anyway, we probably would have been fin finished watching it. Oh, okay, so I'm about you. to upload it now. Yeah. Um, after we do our sister wives. Yeah. But yes, y'all. It yeah. Bye bye. <laughs>